dogs barking, people fighting, hypodermic syringes. Everybody's terrified. Peleas, broncas, apuñalamientos. Se habla de un supermercado de la droga. Que vivimos una situación de, de angustia. For the past few years, criminal gangs have been squatting in flats in Barcelona to sell and use drugs, turning them into so-called narcopisos. Since 2016, more than 100 flats have been occupied by these gangs. Most of them are in the El Raval area, in the heart of Barcelona. I'm meeting some of El Raval's residents to find out how the narcopisos impact on their daily lives. Hay peligro de agresión porque sí, porque voy colocado. Es verte a alguien tirado en el suelo con la jeringuilla clavada. Peleas, broncas, apuñalamientos. En ese piso de ahí es el piso de los narcotraficantes. A cierta hora dices no salgo de casa por el peligro que te venga alguien por detrás, te clave algo o te empuje para ocupar tu vivienda. Nos han robado el barrio, pero bueno, no vamos a dejar que nos lo roben. El barrio va a ser de los vecinos. Sayrika is one of the affected residents whose flat was broken into four months ago and occupied by a drug gang. So this is my flat. This is your flat. Yeah, so this is where they broke into my door frame and this is what they put on instead. I can hear the motherfuckers in there. Probably on breakfast or something. Yeah. I don't want to go, huh? You don't Come feel... Yeah, house. yeah, I feel you're, you're nervous right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. How's your story? I mean, you bought a flat? I bought a flat. It was one of the cheapest flats I could find. Okay. I'm a single mother, so I bought it as an investment for my daughter. Well, my tenant went back to his country, back to Sweden for a couple of weeks, and then boom, he came home and he called me. We've got squatters in, what do we do? So what would you do? I called the police first of all and said, what do I do? They said, you come in and make a formal complaint with your owner documents tomorrow and we will get them out. I thought that was job done, huh? So I went in, they were very nice to me. They went round to the apartment and then they called me into the station and said, you're going to need a judicial order to get them out. So I decided I would go and see them as well. What happened? <laughs> the first guy was very calm. He said no. And then a guy got up behind him. He had a bottle of mineral water. He smashed it against the wall and he just held it there without saying a word to me behind the other guy. So I left. So then I got myself very quickly to the courts. So the judge has to then give you a court date and order the police to come and throw them out. And this can take weeks, it can take months. It sounds crazy to me that it can take months for the police to throw illegal squatters out. So to find out why this process takes so long, I'm meeting Barcelona Security Commissioner. Hemos estado investigando, interviniendo, eh, ya llevamos 103 pisos cerrados desde que se detectó el problema. Estamos haciendo todo lo que podemos por demostrar. Porque para conseguir una orden judicial hay que demostrarle al juez que ahí hay tráfico de drogas y estupefacientes. La respuesta judicial es muy lenta. When the police finally intervenes, the gang members they arrest are often released with only minor charges. ¿Qué está sucediendo con, con estas personas que parece que son puestas en libertad muy rápidamente por delitos de menudeo? Como usted dice muy bien, eh, llevan una lección bien aprendida y tienen poca cantidad en el interior. Esto se ha visto como un delito de menor importancia que si encontráramos toda la droga ahí. Eso quiere decir que hay una infraestructura de distribución de droga sobre la que también estamos intentando uh, averiguar cómo funciona. According to the commissioner, the issue of the narcopisos is related to property speculation. Investors, often foreign ones, buy up flats to rent out to tourists, but they often remain empty and easy to occupy. Tenemos que conseguir que no haya pisos vacíos en Ciudad Bella, que la gente se reapodere de este modo de su, de su barrio en lugar de dejarlo en especulación. Fed up with the situation and disappointed with the authorities' slow response, in June 2018, the residents took to the street in protest. Pro Action Raval is a citizen activist group taking action against the narcopisos. 
Todo esto empieza más o menos sobre el 2012, después de la crisis, un montón de gente desahuciada en la calle, y entidades financieras, inmobiliarias, bancos, fondos de inversión, mantienen esos pisos totalmente vacíos, no se preocupan por ellos, y estas mafias se encuentran donde dónde meterse. Incluso estos pisos sirven para que puedan consumir dentro de ellos. Cuando se quedan en esta situación los pisos, ¿vosotros seguís de algún modo vigilándolos? Bueno, lo que tenemos es, eh, mediante las redes sociales, concretamente un WhatsApp, darnos alertas y activarnos. Si vemos que, por ejemplo, pues, eh, van a ocupar, eh, pues igual pues, nos presentamos aquí unos cuantos vecinos, llamamos a la Guardia Urbana. En muchas ocasiones eh, logramos sacarlos siempre y cuando sea al momento o a los días. I want to understand how the narco pisos operate and who the drug gangs are. So I'm meeting with one of their regular customers. Hola, buenas tardes. Eh, yo soy consumidor actualmente eh, eh, bien travenosa de heroína, cocaína. Aquí lo venden pakistaníes, dominicanos, sudamericanos. Tienen la organización de tal manera que el de la puerta tiene un sueldo. Ajá. El que vende con la báscula tiene otro sueldo. Normalmente hay de dos a tres básculas. Hay solamente un vendedor, hay un portero. Van allí, al piso, los, los politoxicómanos. Rápidamente el portero tiene la obligación de que cuando el consumidor ha consumido, echarlo lo bueno. De aquella manera, en todo momento hay disputas en el piso, hay gritos, hay malos hablares. ¿Qué tipo de drogas se consumen en los narcopisos? Principalmente en heroína, eh, cocaína cruda, lo que es inyectable y el crack, que es ya cocinado. ¿Crees que se ha ido de, de madre la situación en el Raval? La situación en el Raval es bastante caótica, en el sentido de que, ¿sabes dónde está el narcopiso? ¿Por qué no coge rápidamente, sabiendo el daño que está causando la sociedad? ¿Cómo no coge rápidamente el juez y autoriza la entrada al piso y la erradicación del mismo? The Spanish law upholds the inviolability of a home, meaning it cannot be searched without consent from the owner or a court order. This, combined with slow bureaucratic processes, results in search warrants taking months to reach the police. I hear back from Syrica. Pedro, it's me. The police have just called and they're evicting my apartment right now. So I'm in a cab on my way there. Can you meet me there as soon as possible? Thanks. After four months of waiting, the police have finally entered Syrica's flat. I arrived just after they left. Syrica? Pedro. Hi. Come in. How are you? So you got your flat back. What happened? So my flat, as you can see, is an absolute shit show. The furniture that I had, most of it is gone. I assume it has been sold. There's shit and blood all over the walls. I don't know how people live like this. I don't know where to start. I'll be charging a euro to use the toilet. Huh? And they were selling drugs here and cooking, maybe, or...? The police took away a massive bag of syringes. I mean, a massive one. If you look around the flat, you'll see a strategically placed crack pipe in every corner. So they were definitely dealing drugs out of here, and that's why the guys have been arrested. I have had people ringing the doorbell all day. Still coming. Still coming, and they're like zombies. Hello. Es que hay un yonki en la puerta ahora mismo, eh? Que no se vende aquí, eh? A friend of mine is going to stay here and look after the place. I'm going to give my friend the keys. I'm going to walk out of here and I'm not going to walk back in for another six months at least. The police operation is over. While the situation has improved in El Raval, some narcopisos are still active, and new ones have appeared in other parts of the city. Barcelona's battle against the drug gangs is not over yet.